a that was amazing. I might have gone with the downtown Freddie Brown jersey myself. <laughs> that's just because I'm a little older. But uh, it was fun to see all those guys out there too. You know, I played for Lenny Wilkins for three and a half years. It was great to chat with him a little bit and uh, see some of the other guys too. Detlef and talk to Fred Brown a little bit. And it's a fun night. Just a really fun night. How did the uh, Kemp jersey thing happen? Did you know it was coming? Uh, I did not know it was coming. Uh, I think Raymond mentioned uh, something, but I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen. But uh, that was uh, yeah, that was perfect. Just how did this uh, sort of atmosphere compare with any other game? Just with all of the interactions that, that you guys were having with the you know guys during halftime and whatnot, is that commonplace or were is this? Was it a little bit different? No, this was different. Uh, you know, I think I think everybody who's been in the in the league in the NBA a long time uh, has a uh, soft spot for Seattle just because of the uh, the history of the franchise and the beauty and the brilliance of the city. And um, it just doesn't seem right that uh, you know the Sonics are not in not a part of the NBA. Um, so I think that naturally brings out a lot of uh, nostalgia and sentiment, and and then of course you you bring all the former players and coaches together, and you, you see the highlights on the stand in the, on the uh, scoreboard, and I uh, see all the jerseys in the stands, and it, it was a, it was a very special atmosphere, very different from anything I've ever experienced. Did you get a good look at the uh, KD lob to Damian on the dunk there at, in the third quarter there? I did. Uh, what did you think of it and the reaction on your bench over there? Did you notice that? Well, my coaches reacted just the same way as the players. I, I think I got a forearm shiver from, from Mike Brown. That was, uh, that was incredible. I, I think what made it so stunning was it just looked like the pass was going over his head and, and Damian just reached up and snagged it out of nowhere. Uh, but that was, that was probably the play of the night. I was wondering with Clay, I mean, he's obviously a good shooter, but is there, is there any correlation with no shoot arounds and him feeling really comfortable in this kind of thing? I think, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, when he had 60 points, he missed practice uh, the day before. So maybe there is, I don't know. I think Clay was excited to be back in Washington too. You know, that's kind of a subplot here. Everybody's thoughts were with you know, KD and, and the Sonics, but. You know, I saw I saw Coog's uh, flag out there behind the, the basket when Clay was taking a couple free throws, uh, Washington State flag. So yeah, Clay was happy to be back back here too. Uh, KD seemed to get off to a slow start in the first quarter. Do you think that the atmosphere played a role into that? And if so, what, did you have to say anything to him to kind of get him settled again? No, I didn't have to say anything. Um, I'm sure he, it was an emotional night for him. I don't know if that had anything to do with the slow start. But the amazing thing with Kevin is, is even on a night like that where you think, you know, he, he's not he's not on tonight. You look down at the stat sheet and it's like, you know, he's – he ends up with 26 points. Like he always finds a way to get it going. So it was just a little bit of a slow start. Thanks. Great. Thank you. We'll have uh, KD and Clay here eventually. Hopefully.